welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how can you uh, use moon animator so if you don't have this moon animator uh, you can watch my this video the link is in description and in pin comment guys after installing it you will see these three options so you can go to this plugin here and here you can see moon animator character inserter and easy build focus on these two because i am going to talk about these two here so here is character inserter you can insert any character here here is r6 r15 and old r15 and this is original so you can put any user id here okay or any roblox username that you know that you want to import here their character easily so i'm gonna use this one and now we will hit enter and you can see it's find the character here now here you can click on insert so you can see that he's here now just cross this and here you can see if you make uh, this guy at the position uh, you can see he is flying so go to home and here you can see move option you can use this to move this guy here okay now here you can see if you go to plugin click on moon animator now this is the ui of moon animator plugin so here you can see new moon 2 file so you can select this guy and then click on new rig animation but uh, guys don't do this i think you should select uh, outside and then click on new moon animation moon uh, what new moon 2 file what i'm saying and now here you can see there is a plus sign so click on this and now you can click on the character to add this make sure it is selected on rig now click on ok now you can see that all the bones are here for his animation you can see that so here you can see it is written everything here ok so here you can see these are the frame 30 frame 60 frame 90 frame to 300 if you want to increase the frame click on this little dot and it will increase 60 frame here if i click on it again it will increase more 60 frame here okay so from here you can zoom and zoom out and from here you can scroll this uh, area to go to the frame now if you click on the rig it will select every rig here if you want to select a specific part that uh, a specific bone like uh, uh, right upper arm you can see it is highlighted and here you can see uh, these handles so you can use this one okay it will make like this here now blue one will rotate in this direction okay you can check this easily and it is rotating in z axis okay so press ctrl z if you have done any mistake now you can use this r you can see r it will switch to uh, position mode and you can move it anywhere okay now i will just do ctrl z you can press uh, R again to get this handle back. Okay. Now from here, uh, if you want to add a keyframe like this, if you want this guy to move his hand, I will go to the frame 30. So click on frame 30. Okay. You can uh, scroll it also. Okay. Oh, it's 31. Now it's on 30. You can zoom it to get a uh, precise uh, of location here so click on this and now if uh, I select this upper arm and now move 
it will add a keyframe here you can see that so if you don't want this keyframe you can just uh, hit uh, delete you can see it deleted but if you want that you can also uh, uh, press plus sign on your numpad you can see that this will also add a keyframe here now you can move like this okay and make a little animation like this if you press a space it will run like this here okay imagine he has a cola and uh, he's drinking so I'm gonna do this little bit here I will select the, uh, his lower arm and make him drink uh, this should be a little bit here okay you can use this handle oh now it is looking something like that okay he has cola in his hand oh I have to select this now we have to move his hand like this okay it will go little like this now you will see that yay so yeah this is the animation i have made I will show you other animation in uh, other video guys how to walk how to run how to add animation in your game how to trigger animation okay how to play with cameras in animation these all thing will come in later video because I am still <laughs> learning that okay uh, I learn everything and I make videos about that so that's how you can add animation here let him uh, let me so select this upper torso and yo okay now come to the 60 you can add it again you can see the frame is adding here okay now if i play it will look like this here you can loop the animation also if you click here and now if you play this play uh, press a space key okay a space bar key then it will play in loop here you can see if i click on this it will play only one time if you want to do it fast you can make this closer and closer and now if i play this in loop animation you can see it is happening fast a scroll here and now you can make it even more faster like this and play in loop yeah you can also copy and cut this you can select everything and move here and there it is just copy and paste option you can see that like this so if you select uh, look at this his upper arm movement from here you can click here and you can select a style so it is linear you can click on this and you can choose this sign and in direction in out so it will make your animation smooth okay guys so let me show you that if i go here and move this thing little bit more far oh what let me cut this i'm not editing these uh, mistaken part guys because that's how you will learn guys everyone does mistake so that's how you can make the animation and here you can see one more thing if you just click here and if you want to add a keyframe in lower or maybe right hand or maybe 
लोअर टॉर्सो और मे बी हेड यू कैन क्लिक हेयर एंड नाउ सेलेक्ट द हेड एंड नाउ हिट द प्लस टू एड ए की फ्रेम हेयर ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट द हेड एंड एड ए एनिमेशन डेट यू वॉन्ट टू गिव इन हेड ये you can select uh, you can also click on this double time and let me do this none okay okay it should be work if i move it farther it will look different like this okay you can see that if you want to save this animation click on this file and click on save and here you can give the animation name this is my first animation <laughs> okay guys so now you can just close this now he is there and if you have any question you can ask me i will meet you in the next video till then bye bye see you